The Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif has flew from Vienna to Tehran for consultations after holding tough negotiations with his Western counterparts on the Iranian nuclear program. The negotiations on the final bargaining conditions of Tehran's nuclear program have ended with no result and it's become evident that they will pass over the Tuesday deadline. To discuss this in detail, I'm joined by political commentator Soraya Stepanfor Ulrich. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, what's the paramount focus of the current negotiations on the Iranian nuclear program? Well, I believe, as before, the lifting of the sanctions is very important. Uh, but also, a couple of other issues have come up in addition to that, and that's um, research and development, which, um, from what I understand, has been um, recommended or demanded by Israel of putting a stop to research and development, and also very intrusive inspections that would include Iran's military sites or anywhere else at any time. So these are the re um, demands that they will be negotiating foremost. The French foreign minister has listed three main conditions for Iran to meet in order to make progress in the talks. But last time talks were held, the stumbling point was the lifting of sanctions. Why is that not being discussed this time around? Um, sanctions will definitely be discussed as well, but these additional demands that have been placed on, on these talks um, on Iran uh, by France are really nothing but deliberate stumbling blocks. And, um, it's interesting, one may think that it's France, but in reality, I believe they're playing good cop, bad cop, and France wouldn't be making these demands without the full knowledge and approval of the United States. And in, in playing this game, I think many of the, um, you know, regional allies, Arab allies of the United States um, have apprehensions about this nuclear deal going through, and France, with the nod from the United States, um, is is making additional demands which are basically impossible to fulfill, and in France has managed to endear itself to um, those same states, such as Qatar, by signing billion-dollar deals, and perhaps it's a kind of compensation um, doled out by the United States for the French um, following in line, following America into imposing sanctions on Russia and withdrawing the sale of the missile warships. So, you know, all sorts of things, negotiations are going behind the scenes, not only between the P5 plus one plus Iran, but I think between the Western allies as well. Why is the West demanding all these concessions from Iran, but giving very little in return, do you think? Um, it's interesting, in 2003, the same thing happened. At that time, it was just the EU and Iran. Um, so it was the EU3 and Iran, it was uh, referred to as the Paris Agreement. And that went on for a couple of years. Iran mm -hmm. voluntarily suspended all its nuclear activities. And um, according to one of the European delegates, um, who said, we gave them a beautiful box of chocolates, but there was nothing inside. And we see a repeat of that pattern, and I think we should be very mindful of what Mr. Obama promised APAC, American Israeli Public Affairs Committee, in 2008. He said that if our willingness, meaning American willingness, to engage with Iran in nuclear talks, in diplomacy, um, will bring others on board with us. So when the time comes when we make demands on them, and the demands are being made every day, very unreasonable demands, then we can um, have the other member states join us in, in pushing further sanctions, and we can demonstrate to the Iranian people that it's the government that's at fault. And I think this is really very crucial. I, you know, in, in one of the things poll after poll shows, and even um, American think tanks, um, like U.S. Peace Institute, have demonstrated that the Iranian people have always been 100 percent behind the government in the nuclear program. And now it appears to me, as with the 2009 allegations of the election uh, fraud, that the United States is attempting, and its Western allies, to create a divide between the Iranian people with regard to the um, nuclear program. And I think that this is where the danger is. I mean, the talks are just um, continuing unabated, and all the time new, new demands are being placed on Iran. Soraya, thank you very much for your comments. That's all the time we have for you for this hour. This was political commentator Soraya Sepanpour Ulrich. Thank you very much.